Hey everybody, this is Dave Espino with today's Daily Hustle. And today I want to talk about something really, really important. You know, have you ever met a very successful person, somebody who's really well off financially, somebody who's rich, and have you ever marveled at them and thought, man, they must be really smart to be so rich? Have you ever thought, you know, what is it about this person that makes them so rich? I mean, how did they get so rich? What They look no different than I, I do. Um, they don't seem to work much harder than I work. What is the big difference between that rich person and myself? You know, and it's really funny because it happens to everybody. I've seen people at all different levels get impressed by people that are levels above them in terms of financial wealth. Now, all that to say that you could be financially wealthy and spiritually broke, you know, so I'm just right now just talking about financial wealth. So let me tell you about the secret that is the difference between you and the person that is making more money than you, at least in terms of online business or working from home. The reason people make more money than you do and the reason that successful people are more successful than you are is one simple thing. And that one simple thing can be divided in three steps, okay? Step number one, they are not afraid to fail often okay in fact they look forward to failing fast that's number one number two they're good at learning from their failures they're good at learning from their mistakes and number three they're great at course correcting and learning the right way to do something that's it if you look at a list of the most successful people financially speaking in the world you'll find that those people simply failed more times than anybody else but instead of failing so much and not doing anything from that or not learning anything from that they actually failed fast learned from it corrected course and got to success and that is the very simple key to why people are more successful than you so what you want to do is don't ever take it personally when somebody's doing really well now, I know that's hard to do because it happens to me too. When people are doing really well, so much better than you, and in fact, sometimes they just shoot out the gate and they're doing so much better, even quicker than you are, uh, it's hard to not feel kind of jealous and envious of how they're doing, you know? But here's the thing. Everybody starts off in this game at different levels, okay? So where you start makes a big difference. For example, I've failed for over 30 years. <laughs> I, I am a professional failure <laughs> and because of that I've succeeded more times as well and that's the key the the more often you can fail and get back up and change course based on what you've learned the information you've learned the data you've gathered from that failure that's going to determine how quickly you move to success so the most successful people are also the best at failing Lock that into your brain, okay? So the next time you look at somebody and you think, man, they're moving so much faster, so much further than I am, think about it this way. Somewhere in their past, they had that learning curve that you're going through. So you didn't start out at the same place that they're starting out, and they didn't start out where you're starting out. They may have had a past that set them up perfectly for this particular business model that they're in now, and now they jump on it and they take it and run. Part of making an opportunity work is knowing how awesome the opportunity is, jumping on it with full faith, and taking off in that opportunity. And not everybody does that. Sometimes we are kind of tentative with opportunities. We, we dip our toe in it. We just try a little bit here and there. And remember, you can't succeed by just trying. You've got to go all out. So when somebody sees an opportunity that's perfect for them, based on their background, their knowledge, their learning, their failures and their successes, and then they jump on it and go full bore, that's, that's the difference between the successful person and the non-successful person. Now, you might be starting out here, you've never had a business before, you've never started an online business, you've never worked from home. So there's learning curves that you've got to come up to before you get to that person's level where they're starting off right now. Understand? So that's the thing is don't ever feel bad, don't ever feel like, man, I can't do this. Don't beat yourself up. If you see somebody doing so much better than you, so much faster, remember that it's all a learning curve 
and either that person already had their learning curve and now they get to take off, but you can do the same thing and get to that same learning curve so that you can then take off. The key is staying tuned to this Daily Hustle series so that you keep your mindset right as you're getting your action right. There's two things you can control in life and that is your mindset and your action. What you do and how you think about what you do. Control those two things and you will be very, very successful. So remember, the successful person is really, really good at failing. That's today's Daily Hustle. I'll talk to you tomorrow.